good morning everyone so today we will study about our environment so let us see the definition of environment environment is nothing but our surrounding therefore the combination of all the living and the non living things living things are known as biotic for example plants animals etc non living things are known as abiotic things for example land air etc it is the sum of total of air land and water the interrelationship among themselves with the human being and other living organism so now let us see the components of environment first is natural environment which is related to natural surrounding for example air water land and living things and second is human made environment it includes all things made by human being for example bridges parks buildings roads industries monuments etc and the last one is human environment includes human related values and beliefs for example individuals family community religions education etc so now let us say the four important domains of natural environment first one is lithosphere second one is atmosphere and the third one is hydrosphere fourth one is biosphere now let us see then brief first one is lithosphere it is the solid crust or the hard top layer of the earth it is made up of rocks and minerals and covered by a thin layer of soil it is an irregular surface with the various land forms like mountain plains valleys etc these domains provide us with a forest and grassland for grazing land for agriculture and it is also a source of mineral wealth now let us see the second let us see the atmosphere atmosphere is the thin layer of air that surrounds the earth the gravitational force of the earth holds the atmosphere around it it protects us from the harmful rays and the scorching heat of the sun it consists of a number of gases dust and water vapor the changes in the atmosphere produce changes in the weather and climate next is hydrosphere the domains of water is referred as hydrosphere it comprises of various sources of water and different types of water bodies like ponds lake rivers oceans etc it is very essential for all the living organisms the earth is also called as the blue planet due to the hydrosphere and now the last one is biosphere it is the narrow zone of the earth where land water and air interrelate with each other to support life human being plants and animals together make biosphere or living world now we will see what is ecosystem the relation between the living organisms and in turn the relation between the organisms and their surroundings form an ecosystem for example forest pond grassland desert mountains ocean etc the last is human environment human beings interact with the environment and modify it according to their needs humans learn new way to use and change environment they learn to grow crops domestic animals and they lead a settled life the wheel was invented surplus food was produced barter system emerges it is a trade in which goods are exchanged without the use of money trade started and commerce developed 